Well, it's about noon. Probably high 60s. I just spent, walked out here, spent the late after, late morning. Just to get out for a while. I wanted Sparky out. I'm way back over there. And having a great time. That's what he used to do. Sammy would go way out too. And then Eddie, he'd go a little ways, but he got lost the first time I ever brought him out here. And I had heck find him. But I found him. And uh, after that, he always stayed pretty close to me. He'd just go about maybe that far where Sparky would go out there. And then he'd turn around and see where I was. And that's as far as he'd go. He'd start kind of hanging back from the other dogs. He made sure he kept me in sight. And Sammy, when it was just me and her, years and years ago now, 05, 06, 07, she'd take off. She was young and she'd disappear, but she was half lab, half sharp hay. And uh, she could track me down. I've sat right here and watched her find me before, 15 years ago. I'd see a flash as a white her coming through the tree woods. And I, I wouldn't get way off from where I last saw her, but I'd come in back here and sit. And then I'd wait for her, and pretty soon I'd sit and I'd just watch her. And she'd just follow my trail, my scent, right where I'd walk pretty much. And she'd stop every once in a while and sniff. But, and uh, sometimes I'd play a game with her, you know, I wouldn't tell her or call her or anything, I just see kind of if she'd find me, which she always did. I, the longest she ever disappeared, I think, was like 30 minutes, maybe a little more. It's usually she'd run off chasing rabbits. 